Well, it's been a long wait for that family to get to this point, and today we're hearing from two of Norma Lopez's sister who described to jurors the last morning that they saw their sister alive before she was before she disappeared. We also heard from Sonia Lopez, who was the last to take the stand today, and she told jurors that when she came across the purse her sister usually carried and saw it scattered on a dirt path along with other items, that she knew her sister had been taken. It's been nearly nine years. Now for the family of Norma Lopez, the long wait is over. The man accused of kidnapping and murdering the 17-year-old is on trial. Jesse Perez Torres sat in a Riverside County courtroom as the prosecutor told jurors the 42-year-old was the one that ripped Lopez away from her family back on July 15, 2010. Jurors learned about Lopez's daily walk after her summer school biology class, which took her past Torres's Moreno Valley home, and the path through the dirt field where Lopez's younger sister stumbled on her purse, which led to a frantic 911 call and the all-out search. Five days later, the teen's partially nude body was found face down under an olive tree in a dirt field not far from where she went missing. A DNA hit on the broken earring Lopez was wearing that day led to a profile and a match. Torres was arrested in 2011 in Long Beach, but his defense countered the prosecution's evidence, saying the earring was mishandled before it was collected for DNA analysis. The defense produced two evidence photos, which appears to show the earring had been slightly moved. As for the DNA itself, Torres's attorney told jurors the profile provided from the earring was only a partial match. Another lab completed the profile with 23 other potential DNA matches, including Torres's. The defense says after investigating Investigators discovered that Torres lived in the neighborhood where Lopez walked. They zeroed in on their client and failed to follow up on 23 other matches. The murder trial is expected to last for a month. If jurors find Torres guilty, it will then move to the penalty phase. Torres is facing the possibility of death. Now, Sonia Lopez was the last to take the stand and testify. Uh, tomorrow morning, they will resume testimony with Norma Lopez's then. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.